Good afternoon. My name is Thomas Rehm. I have the pleasure of serving as chairman of Grantham University's Board of Governors. To all Gra Grantham University graduates, parents, family, friends, faculty and staff, and honored guests, which includes the chairman of our Board of Directors here at Grantham, Mr. Tom Macon, and other members of the Board of Governors which are attending today virtually. I want to welcome all of you to Grantham University's virtual commencement ceremony. I have been fortunate to be a part of this university's board for several years, and I can say most sincerely that graduation day is without a doubt the most favorable day of the year for all of us here with you today, even if it is a virtual ceremony. I wish that I could be congratulating you each and every one in person. But there is one thing I know for sure about Grantham University family when it is faced with adversity. It's resilient, perseverant, and can adapt to whatever changes the world may throw at us. In my humble opinion, there is no greater accomplishment than to achieve the higher education that will set us up for our greatest success. And it has been our privilege to have walked beside you throughout this important journey. So on behalf of your Grantham family F supporters, please accept our heartfelt thanks for choosing Grantham for your education and accept our congratulations on your significant achievement. Now, we have a wonderful presentation in store for you and I'm sure you are all anxious to get started. Normally at this time, I would ask everyone to please take out your cell phone and silence them. Today, I would ask you to please take your phone out and share with us how you are viewing the ceremony today and how you are celebrating through your social media platforms with the hashtags you see provided. We want to be a part of your celebration. Now let us begin our ceremony in the best way possible and that is by giving thanks. Allow me to introduce Ms. Tina Freestone, Grantham University's Associate Dean of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. She will deliver our invocation. Good afternoon and welcome. We gather here today understanding that we come from different places and cherish different beliefs. It is within this diversity that we stand united in gratitude for this commencement. I now invite you to reflect quietly, expressing thanks for our many blessings and accomplishments. Creator, we are grateful for the graduates gathered here. Give them the grace to make a difference for good wherever they may find themselves in the years ahead. For all who pursue education, grant not only the knowledge they need in their chosen fields, but also the wisdom to apply that knowledge. For those in military service and our first responders, we are grateful for their protection of our freedoms. May they serve our country, communities, and all of humanity with integrity and honor. For all of the faculty, staff, and families, who work tirelessly supporting our graduates. May they be a blessing to those whose lives they personally touch. Remember, graduates, your graduation symbolizes your role in a dynamic partnership with Grantham University. You and Grantham are forever connected through our collective commitment to create a better tomorrow because of the education we celebrate today. From this pivotal point onward, go forth with gratitude, humility, and unbounding strength to make your impact as an individual. Now, I ask all graduates and guests to stand for the presentation of the colors by Olathe Police, Kansas Police Department.
us acknowledge some special members of our graduating class is Dr. Carol Romano, a member of the Grantham Board of Governors, as well as professor and dean of the Daniel K. Inouye Graduate School of Nursing at the Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences in Bethesda, Maryland. Dr. Romano holds her PhD in nursing and is board certified in nursing informatics. She's been fulfilling important roles in nursing leadership for over 30 years. Thank you, Lindsay. I'm so honored to be here today. These times are unprecedented, challenging, and at times a bit confusing and scary. But heroes do live among us, always ready to help us through these tough times Today, I would like to honor those heroes, our first responders and frontline workers for the sacrifices they make each day. I would like to personally thank every graduate who has served their community as a first responder, whether as a member of law enforcement, a firefighter, or an EMT. We would also like to thank all the family members who supported them and stood by their side as they earned their degree while protecting our communities. We are endlessly grateful and sincerely thank you for your service and sacrifice. Now I'd like to acknowledge the nurses and healthcare workers who spend countless hours in potentially dangerous conditions to help those who are sick and suffering. In times like these, we sincerely appreciate the dedication and sacrifice that it takes to heal not only com individuals, but entire communities. To those of you serving in hospitals, clinics, and on the front lines of this pandemic who are graduating today with your degree, I thank you on behalf of everyone at Grantham University. We thank you for your drive and commitment to helping others while still finding the time to achieve your own goals. I want to thank all the heroes on the front line for representing Grantham University in your communities you are changing lives and making a difference. Thank you for the opportunity to be here today and share this special occasion with you. I am truly honored and humbled. Now graduates and guests, Grantham University Interim President, Lindsay Bridgman. Welcome graduates and honored guests to the 2021 Grantham University Virtual Graduation Ceremony. I'm Lindsay Bridgman, Grantham University's Interim President. I would love to be celebrating this day together in person, but I'm thrilled to be able to share in your big day in this format. Despite your best efforts, many of you were affected by this pandemic in one way or another. Maybe you had to miss time at work due to your illness. Maybe your job was affected by the pandemic. I am sure some of you had to play the role of part-time teacher to your children at home while still working and being a student yourself. But you remained resilient and you persevered and here you are today celebrating a great achievement in your life. You earned your college degree. 2021 is a special year for the university as it marks our 70th birthday. From day one, Grantham has been on a mission to do more for our students, providing more ways for you to succeed and get ahead in your career as well as in life. This pandemic showed how Grantham already had your best interests in mind. We together as students in a university were already online so when the pandemic hit and campuses shut down, other students in schools were scrambling to figure out how to move forward. And you never missed a step. You kept moving ahead closer and closer to your goal. There is one silver lining to hosting this year's commencement online. It allows many more of you, our graduates, the opportunity to fully participate in your graduation. We have 637 graduates celebrating with us today. That's more than double the number of graduates who participate in the in-person ceremonies. As we come out of the other side of this pandemic, we come out stronger together. This is because we were resilient and refused to give up in the face of adversity. You stood up and said, this is not going to keep me from achieving my goals. You kept moving forward until you reached the finish line. And here you are celebrating this huge accomplishment. Today, you are celebrating with classmates from all 50 states, as well as from as far away as Italy, Germany, Singapore, Thailand, and the Virgin Islands. Class of 2021, you represent all ethnicities, all stages of life, and a broad spectrum of experiences. While most of you are in your 30s and 40s, your class stretches from 21 to 72 years young. Many of you are public servants. 
We recognize our graduates who are first responders, including medical, law enforcement, and other civil professionals, serving your communities on the front lines while completing your degrees. Many of you have military affiliations. 56% of you, in fact. You, along with your families, represent all branches of the military, including Army, Navy, Air Force, the Marine Corps, Coast Guard, Space Force, and National Guard. Remember, Donald Grantham, a veteran of World War II, founded Grantham 70 years ago to help provide service members with a way to achieve their educational and career goals. And we continue his vision of wanting to make education more affordable and accessible to not only military, but anyone wanting to improve their circumstances with an education. I offer a heartfelt thanks to those of you who are serving or have served your country and communities. Many of you are the first in your families to earn a college education. Others of you are working on or have completed multiple degrees. 312 of you, that's almost half of you, are graduating with honors by earning a grade point average of 3.5 or higher for our undergraduate students and a 3.67 or higher for our graduate students. We recognize and congratulate you for your dedication and hard work. When you chose to pursue higher education, you demonstrated that you wanted something more. You wanted more out of your career. You wanted more opportunities and more for yourself and your family. You achieved it. And now it's your turn to decide what to do with it. Class of 2021, I am so proud of you. And I know you will continue to make us all proud as you continue to change the world for the better and achieve new goals and milestones. And remember, dreams do not come true without the hard work and determination. Just by being here today, you've already demonstrated you have the work ethic and determination. Now it's up to you to make your dreams a reality. At this time, I would like to introduce our keynote speaker for today's ceremony, Dr. Mary Kelly. Dr. Kelly is a retired U.S. Navy commander, intelligence officer, and graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy. She is also the CEO of her company, Productive Leaders, a renowned author, economist, and authority on leadership. We are honored to have her here today as part of this commencement ceremony and celebration. Graduates, please welcome Dr. Mary Kelly. Congratulations, graduates. You have worked hard to earn your degree and achieve this very important goal. It is a huge accomplishment to get to this point. It took resiliency, perseverance, time management, organization, and discipline. You have shown that you know how to meet deadlines. You get things done. You are also setting the example for others. Many of you are the first in your families to earn an advanced degree. Some of your children are inspired to study when they see you studying. You took school seriously, and that momentum builds and strengthens those around you. Congratulations also to your friends and family around you. They supported you throughout this journey. While you did the studying, the reading, and the homework, your friends and family also sacrificed to help you get to where you are. The people around you right now deserve your thanks, and now is a good time to remember to thank them as well. According to your class demographics, many of you have some military experience. We have that in common. My older brother was a Marine helicopter pilot for over 25 years, and his wife was Navy. My younger sister was a career Air Force officer, and her husband was Navy. My younger brother was a Navy pilot, and he is currently an airline pilot. I personally spent over 25 years on active duty in the Navy, and my husband was a Force Recon Marine. We understand what it's like to try to juggle family, friends, deployments, military training, work, and school. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. The struggle is real. For anyone who worked while going to school or raised children, it's hard. It's late night coffees and monster drinks. It is eating and studying at the same time. It's listening to books while you're driving kids around. Now I've been known to say that I'm part of the class that makes the top 50% possible. I spent 19 years in graduate school at nights and weekends, 19 years. And then I turned around and I taught night and weekend classes. As a teacher of over three decades, I know that grades are important, grades are an important metric, but it's the learning that matters. Learning changes our default response. Learning helps us take the right action at the right time. 
grades, in my opinion, matter less than what you actually learned. One of the skills you refine during your time with Grantham is resiliency. You learn to bounce back despite challenges and setbacks. It is also why I love the Alvarez Resilient Student of the Year Award, which doesn't focus on the grades or the other common award criteria. It focuses on resiliency. It is all about having the ability to bounce back. I know you know this, but the learning doesn't stop here. It's a lifelong pursuit to always try a little harder, to know just a little bit more so that we can become just a little bit better. Because graduates, I can't tell you how much we need you now. We need you to take all of those traits that allowed you to be successful in earning your degree and use those on larger issues. We need your talents, your skills, abilities, experience, and education. It's easy to look at all of the big and small problems in the world and think about not stepping up, but the world needs all of your skills. We need leaders like you. I want to gently remind and encourage all of you that you are leaders. You are leaders in your families, in your groups of friends, in your current and future workplaces, and in your communities. And we need you to be great. It's been a rough year and a half. We've had challenges we've never seen before. Why I'm so impressed with you right now is that you have taken the positive steps you need to be able to respond well to any crisis, challenge, or change. You will default to the right action. We need people like you who know how to lead in the right direction. As leaders, it's incumbent upon us to help people through the challenges, changes, and crises we will all face. There are five things you can do. And because I was in the military, I love to use acronyms, and I hope it helps you remember this as well. So think about the word pivot, P-I-V-O-T. We have to show up every single day, mindful of our purpose, and to encourage other people to understand what their purpose is as well. The I is our influence and inspiration. We need to wake up every day determined to positively inspire and influence those around us. You and I both know that it's much harder to change attitude than almost anything else. I would rather hire someone with a great attitude than someone with a great skill set. Skills can be taught. Attitudes are hard to change. You can help your people by having your right attitude. The V in pivot is volatility. Be able to assess the volatility of the people around you. Instead of asking someone, hey, how are you doing? Give them a question they can actually answer in a way that helps you respond in the best way possible. Ask people on a scale of one to 10, with one being kind of bad and 10 being fantastic. Hey, how are you with everything going on right now? And wait for the answer. That allows you to assess their state of volatility and opens the door toward true help and genuine caring. The O in pivot is to find and define opportunities. Now that doesn't mean being opportunistic or taking advantage of other people. It means being an optimist, an optimistic leader in the way the American Psychological Association defines optimism. An optimist is someone who looks at a tough situation and thinks, I know what to do to make that better. And then they do it. That's you. That is you finding opportunities and helping others because you know how to make a tough situation better. Others need your knowledge, skills, and caring. The T in pivot is making sure you stay relevant in your chosen field by keeping up with the right training, the right technology, and the right tactical actions that you need to take in order to do well. I know you will go on to even bigger and better things. This degree is part of your ticket to the future, but it is only a part. The other parts are all of those characteristics that helped you get to where you are today. The perseverance, the time management, discipline, organization, and resiliency. You will continue to learn and face challenges, and now you are even better prepared. Good luck on the rest of your journey. Thank you, Mary, for that tremendous message of resilience and perseverance. Our next speaker is not only a fellow Grantham Class of 2021 graduate, but was also named the 2021 Distance Education Accrediting Commission Outstanding Graduate for Grantham University. 
He worked his way up through the ranks at Space Systems Laurel, where he currently serves as a senior distinguished engineer and space architect. He has earned two degrees from Grantham, an associate degree in electronic and computer engineering and a bachelor's degree in electronics engineering technology. Graduates, I introduce you to the 2021 Grantham University Outstanding Graduate, Michael Aliamas. I went to college and then went back to college and went back to college again several times over the last three decades, never completing my degree. I'm a spacecraft architect, so I take the desires of a customer. They'll come in and say, we want a satellite. And I say, well, what do you want the satellite to do? And then they would say, what can the satellite do? So after, after that cat and mouse back and forth, I eventually come up with a, uh, a specification, a drawing, a set of requirements that define a geostationary spacecraft for someone like DirecTV, Dish Network, SiriusXM, or Hughes Network Services. Out of high school, I worked at Sears Roebuck and Company. Um, and there was a time one day that I said, after seven years, making twice as much money as my friends who, were, who had their AA degrees or doing things in engineering and electronics, uh, making very good money, but after seven years, I walked into work one day and said, I can't do this anymore. Uh, I want to do something in technology. So in between jobs, I started, I applied for a carpenter's job at Ford Aerospace. So we had carpenters because we did not have three-dimensional CAD systems in those days, so we mocked up the entire spacecraft to make sure all the parts would fit together, to make sure things didn't collide together, to make sure that they, they moved past each other when they're supposed to. And then while at Ford Aerospace and at Space Systems Laurel, they had a tuition assistance program, and we had in-person classes at Cogswell College, and I did that for a couple years, then I let that slide. and. Then I had children and things got busy and then I just never really finished. I am largely self-educated. I taught myself calculus and physics and electrical engineering and thermodynamics, but I, the formal education was never quite all put together until I entered Grantham. I carried this insecurity with me that, you know, these people have fancy degrees and I don't. And I think I overachieved because of that. So because I didn't have the degree, I would say, yes, I can do this and yes, I can do that and take on very difficult projects and, and grind through them and learn them. Uh, but I did it out of insecurity more than uh, ambition. Uh, I started looking on the internet for the de degree program that I had started at Cogswell, which is the Bachelor of Science of Electronics Technology, BSET. So I typed in BSET to a search engine about two years ago to the day. And I think I've got 10 hits. And then there was online schools and talking to their admissions department. They didn't seem super excited about taking someone who had a handful of degrees from this school or units from this school and a handful of units from this school and a handful of units from this school and put them together in a package and say, here's, here's what you need to complete. That changed when I got to Grantham. I called Grantham's admission department. I spilled my guts out to them and said, this is, this is what I've accumulated, this is what I don't have. And they said, we can work with that. Uh, and they put together in a very short time, they said, you could do this in two years. And they bundled that together and said, do this and you get a degree. It was Grantham that provided the online access and importantly, the structure to keep me on task and complete my degree. I credit the Grantham advisors with their weekly call-ins, checking in, how are you doing? Are you getting your assignments done? Keeping me on task. Uh, that resulted in two years to the day after I enrolled a framed diploma on the wall of my office. Thank you, Grantham. Thank you, Michael, for showing all of us where determination perseverance, and never giving up on your goal to pursue your education can lead you. It is a true testament of what Grantham students are really about. This year, Grantham is introducing and presenting for the first time a new award to honor a graduate who has demonstrated great resilience and perseverance to achieving the goal of earning their degree through all of the challenges, obstacles, and hard times that come with being a student on active duty. 
We are proud to introduce the first ever Commander Everett Alvarez Jr. Resilient Student of the Year. Dedicated to one of Grantham's Distinguished Board of Governors members, retired Navy Commander Everett Alvarez Jr. It is such an honor to have a man recognized as an American hero as part of our university's board. His dedication to our country and his resilient spirit in the face of adversity, joined with his passion for education, drives the very core of what we do here at Grantham University on a daily basis. Commander Alvarez was the first American aviator shot down in Vietnam and spent eight and a half years as a prisoner of war. He credits his determination and persistence in the midst of life's most difficult situations to the fundamental principles he learned in the military. You don't give up, you stand true to your mission, be resilient, he says. After his release, Commander Alvarez used the GI Bill to earn his law degree and has been a huge supporter of continuing education and Grantham University ever since. So in 2017, Grantham wanted to capture some of that spirit of resilience with the Commander Everett Alvarez Jr. Resilient Scholarship. This scholarship helps active duty service members who have used up their annual tuition assistance allotment bridge the gap and stay in class until their tuition assistance benefit is restored. These service members take on the challenge of classwork to pursue their education while also serving our country full time, whether deployed or stateside. To date, this scholarship has provided nearly a million dollars in financial assistance and helped more than a thousand service members continue their educational goals here at Grantham. And 150 of those individuals are part of the graduating class of 2021 participating today in our virtual commencement ceremony. And now, I am very honored to ask Commander Alvarez to present the first ever Commander Everett Alvarez Jr. Resilient Student of the Year Award. Thank you for that very kind introduction. I am very humbled to be presenting this award today to a very deserving Grantham graduate who has shown great resilience and perseverance in overcoming the obstacles and challenges that come with military life and staying true to their goal of achieving that degree. I am also very honored to be here today as part of this ceremony with all of you who have faced your own challenges and obstacles, but completed your mission of earning your degree as well. You should all stand tall and proud today, knowing you achieved something very special. Our winner is an Army Sergeant First Class who has overcome the challenges of balancing his active duty military career with being a full-time college student and a dedicated family man. He persevered through dealing with the death of one of his soldiers, homeschooling his children amidst this pandemic, and also leading his soldiers and fulfilling his military duties through challenging times, all while maintaining a 4.0 GPA on the way to earning his master's degree in health systems management. So now it is my great honor to present this award, a helix sculpture that symbolizes resilience to Sergeant First Class Danilo Arthur Scott, the 2021 and first ever recipient of the Commander Everett Alvarez Resilient Student of the Year Award. Congratulations, Sergeant Arthur Scott. Congratulations on being a true example of resilience, perseverance, and soldierly virtue. All of us at Granham University are extremely proud to have you as a member of the Grantham family. And congratulations and best of luck to all of you, the Grantham class of 2021. Thank you, Commander Alvarez. It is an honor and pleasure to be the first recipient of this award. Also wanna give thanks to my professor, fellow students, and to my advisor, Elizabeth, for supporting me during this process. Also, I would like to thank my wife, Jessie, 
my two amazing kids, Gabriel and Madison. You guys are the driving force for me accomplishing any goal that I set in my life. I want to acknowledge my fellow competitors who were also nominated for this award. I'm aware of the dedication and hard work it took to reach the finish line. This award means a lot to me. The last two years were challenged because of the pandemic. This changed my family's daily routine. Starting from my Army's duties and responsibility to experiencing kindergarten for the second time in my life. Thank you, Madison. To finally finishing my pursuit of a master's degree. I am grateful for this award. Thank you. At this time, I would like to ask retired Army Command Sergeant Major and member of Grantham's Board of Governors, Lindsey Streeter, to present our special military recognition. Thank you. As many of you are aware, Grantham's founder, Donald Grantham, was a military veteran who wanted to ensure his fellow veterans had the opportunity to pursue the education they needed for success after leaving the military. That said, our student base has always had a large military presence. Even today, about half of our students serve or have served in the armed forces. At this time, I would like to personally thank every graduate who has served our great nation, whether on active duty, in the reserves or guard, retired or veteran. We want to show our appreciation to all the military spouses graduating today as well. Their important role in making sacrifices to the family moving forward when their spouses are away on duty and still managing to find a time to earn their degree. We owe you all the depth of gratitude and we thank you for your service and sacrifice. Finally, let me take this time to acknowledge and to thank all of the friends and family members watching this today who have served, who have military affiliation, including our very own Grantham staff and faculty, and also their families. We thank you for your dedication and service to our communities, as well as your support to our Grantham graduates. You have played a key role in getting them where they are today. Thank you. And now I would like to make a special presentation to our first ever recipient of the Commander Everett Alvarez Jr. Resilient Student of the Year Award. Sergeant Danilo Arthur Scott, as many of our military in attendance today are undoubtedly aware, there's a closely held long-standing military tradition of coining. In recognition of hard work and excellence an individual has displayed. For those not familiar with this tradition, the true history of the challenge coin dates all the way back to World War I, when an American pilot was shot down and captured in Germany while escaping the grasp of the Germans. The pilot made his way to France, where they believed he was a spy, and sentenced him to be executed. To prove his identity and to save his life, he revealed a bronze medallion with his flying squadron's emblem, confirming that he was an American pilot. The French spared his life and celebrated him by giving him a bottle of wine instead. After the incident, it became a tradition that all members of the squadron carried their medallion, sparking challenge coins to become a trademark for military tradition and pride. So today, in honor of your shining example of military virtue and brotherhood, Sergeant Danilo Arthur Scott, I would like to take this opportunity to present this special coin to you in appreciation for all you do now and have done for our country and others. You continue to uphold the values of the armed forces and are an inspiration for all students and veterans to achieve their goals through hard work and perseverance. On behalf of Grantham University, we thank you for all that you've done. Thank you, Sergeant Major. I am both humbled and honored for this coin. Thank you. It is our pleasure, Sergeant Arthur Scott. Now it's my honor to turn things back over to Grantham's interim president, Lindsey Bridgman, to present this year's Outstanding Faculty Member Award. It is now my special privilege to introduce Grantham's Provost, Dr. Bill Allen, for the presentation of the Outstanding Faculty Member of the Year Award. Our faculty play a vital role in all that we do. It is with great honor that I present our 2021 Outstanding Faculty Member of the Year Award to Ashley Page in recognition of her continued support of our students, as well as her contributions to the College of Humanities and Social Sciences and our Grantham academic community. For nearly seven years, 
Ashley has been teaching, developing, and revising courses to provide the best possible education experience for our students. She takes great care by ensuring that each student understands the material and by making sure every student who needs assistance gets the assistance. On behalf of every student who has benefited from your guidance and the rest of the faculty and staff who see the benefits of your hard work every day, we thank you for all that you do, Ashley. Congratulations. Thank you so much. My focus always remains on supporting our students and helping them succeed. I'm truly honored of this recognition. Congratulations. Thank you. And thank you, Ashley. We're so grateful to have a dedicated instructor who exceeds expectations for our students every day. I speak on behalf of everyone at Grantham when I say thank you and congratulations. We are so proud of you. Now, to the reason we are all here. We are proud to present the undergraduate and graduate candidates for each of our schools. We will go in order, starting with the associate and bachelor's degree candidates in each school, followed then by the master's level candidates. At this time, I'd like to invite Dr. Bill Allen to please come forward to present the candidates for conferral of their degrees. Thank you, Lindsay. It is my distinct honor and privilege to present the 2021 class of Grantham University undergraduate and graduate candidates from the College of Science, Engineering, and Technology. Stephen Anktil. Jason Cheney. Jason Easling. Jessica Furlong. Kristen Hadley. SM Islam. Alonzo Johnson King III. Christopher Mashburn. Dwayne Pinckney. Amanda Riley. Benjamin Seekins. Grant Westbrook. Angel Avila. Aaron Bachan. Alva A. Bernard. Tony Frierson. Timothy Hatch. Preston Lamb. Alfredo Lopez. Shingrai Makanya. Lisa Mora. Bob Mounts. Bobby Marie Oxley. Camille Pike. Diane Michelle Townsend. Joshua Bauer. Andrew Delph. Alonzo Sherrod. Carl R. Williams. Lakin Workman. Umar Kamara. Kingsley Otang. Channing Ratcliffe. Miguel Rosario. Andrew Andreessen. Shara Buck. Weston Horn. Sharish Karnick. 
Brandon Ness. Denzel Oden. Dean Truex. Scott Uniberg. Trevor Brown. Jamal Gerard. Matthew Kant. Philip Sean Parker. Kiana C. Smocks. Larry Soto. Tim Tonsetic. David Wardell. Michael Aliamas. Michael Allen. Christopher Carr. Julio Chavez. Timothy Cobbs. Mikhail Cooper. Bernard Kwame Darko. Ebele Ebele. Dylan English. Robert Gustafson. Olivia Guzman. Andrew Hall. Tyler Michael Hofer. Nicholas Hutchison. Peter Koch. Kenneth Magno. James Mee. Brian Minton. Jerome Perkins. Travis Patterson. Harry Pugh. Dalton Ramage. Terry Robinson. Joseph Lee Sams. Richard Scrivener. Pavel Tadaroshko. Morris Trueblood Jr. Wayne Woolley. Maurice Cadillo. Aaron Cockrell. Dwayne Haywood. Cedric Henry. Solomon David Howard II. Andrew Huber. Preston Smith. Joshua Stranisha. William Hamill. Matthew Hudson. Christopher Lee Jones. Samantha Ann Oden. Derek Overton. Matthew Perkopile. Michelle J. Crittenden. 
Donald Eugene Lockett. Joe Ann Puth. Michael Arthur. Tara Bracey. Indrasish Chakraborty. Andalkachu Kinfa Michael. David Vincent Parker. Ernest Bayliss. Kian Bowman. Anthony Brown. Russell Gadsden. Kritesh Gawali. Barry Horner. Jose Lee. Robert Lewis. Tyrone Locke. Nilesh Matole. Derek E. Ende. Amori Ponciano. Althea C. Sprosta. Anil Thompson. Brian Wayne. Daniel Williams. Congratulations to the College of Science, Engineering, and Technology degree recipients. I'm so proud of everything you have accomplished. And now we come to the part of the ceremony you've all been waiting for. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Kansas Board of Regents, the Department of Education, Distance Education Accrediting Commission, as well as the Board of Governors and the Directors of Grantham University, I confer upon each of you the degree you have been certified by the faculty, together with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. And in keeping with tradition, undergraduates, you may now move your tassel from the right to the left in recognition of your achievement. Master's degree graduates, we would also like to recognize your impressive accomplishments at this time. Congratulations on all your successes. Now, I would like to ask Interim President Lindsey Bridgman to close the ceremony with a few final remarks. Before we officially conclude today's ceremony, I wanted to leave you with one more thought. You did it. You persevered and stayed true to yourself and your goal, and here you are today at the finish line. You all should be so proud of yourselves. I know, on behalf of Grantham University, we are all tremendously proud of you. Now, what's your next goal, your next dream? Grantham has given you the tools to succeed in the world of today and tomorrow. You've proven you have what it takes to achieve anything you set your mind to. And I'm excited to see what the future holds for all of you. Remember, you're part of the Grantham family now, and we care about you and want to hear from you. We want to see you reach the highest pillars of success, personally, professionally, and educationally. I want to thank you all for joining us today and making this such a special day. And I hope to see as many of you as possible back here in Kansas City next year to celebrate your graduation with us in person. Thank you. Stay safe and stay well. <laughs>